Hi friends, we all know the weight of the body when it is in contact. But what about the weight of the body when it is freely falling? So to test this, the weight of the body when it is freely falling, we are doing this activity that is changes during the free fall of a body. So according to the title, the aim will be there. We know that. So the aim to observe the changes during the free fall of a body. So to check this activity, the apparatus are transparent ray. The transparent ray is to check total activity. Next, three rubber bands and the stone. So what is the use of this apparatus? We will say in the total activity. That is the procedure. So according to the procedure, first step, as shown in figure, take a transparent ray and make holes on opposite sides. Take three rubber bands and tie them tightly close to each other between the holes. So according to these two points, the figure 1.1, see one shake. So the first point, we have to take the transparent tray and we have to make the holes on the opposite sides of the tray. Next, the second point, we have to place the rubber bands tightly tied to the tray on the either side and the rubber bands should be close to each other. Next, now place a stone on the bands. So whatever the stone we have taken, it should be placed on the rubber bands. Figure 1.2. So whenever the stone is placed on the rubber bands, we will observe. We observe that the band bend due to the weight of the stone. So generally we know as the weight of the stone will be there. So for the stone, the weight is there. According to the weight, the bands will bend and the gravitational force, it maximum pulls the stone downwards and the normal force, it acts always opposite to the gravitational force. So as the weight is in contact, as in weight in the contact with the surface, the normal force and gravitational force will be equal and external force will become zero. So the weight of the body will be equal to the weight of the object. Coming to next, now drop the tray with stone. So the figure 1.3, see it is a tray which is dropping freely from certain height. So in this case, we can observe, we observe that bands do not bend, they are straight. So what happens here? So we will observe that the case, in previous case, the same weight is there, the bands are bending. But what about now, same weight is there, but the bands are not bending. This is because as the tray is in the situation of freely falling. This is the case as the weight is freely falling. So in this case, the normal force will be equal to both the weight and the normal force will be equal to zero and the gravitational force will be exerted on the weight. So in this case, we treated the weight of an object as the force due to the gravity upon it. So whatever the weight is there in this case, it will be acted as the gravitational force. Next, when in equilibrium of the frame, surface weight is evidenced by the support force, then weight will be equal to mg. So it is a figure 1.2. According to figure 1.2, Whenever the weight is in contact, so what happens according to this situation, as the weight is in contact, the body will show some weight. But coming to next, when the body falls freely on the freely falling, then it experiences weightless. So according to this point, the figure 1.3 comes into role. That is same figure means same object, but the situation is different. Previous it was in support, so the weight will be according to the object. But coming to this the same object but it is in freely falling so as the object is in freely falling the weight will become weightless so the w will be equal to zero next coming to the conclusion from the above activity you can conclude that even in weightless condition there is still a gravitational force acting on the body causing downward acceleration so from this point the conclusion we can say that though the weight of the object is zero as the weight is zero but there is one external force still acting on the weight of the body that is the gravitational force which is making the tray to fall freely on the ground next so the important note for this total that is n equal to normal force m equal to mass and g equal to gravitational force w equal to work done so based on this four we will check the total that is figure 1.2 the figure 1.2 i already said See the normal force it always acts towards the upward direction and gravitational force will act always downward. Next, once go to the formula that is W equal to mg equal to n. This is the case of figure 1.2. So as the mass and gravitational force are equal to the normal force, we will get external force equal to zero. So in this position, so the weight will be same of the body. So whatever the weight of the body will be there, it will be same as the weight of the object. Next, coming to the figure 1.3, so in this case, see the normal, it is getting 
mg means mass and gravitational force minus mass and gravitational force so we are getting zero that is normal force equal to zero we are getting next see this is a case where the object is in freely falling so as the object is in freely falling the normal force will be equal to zero so as there is no normal force only gravitational force is acting in this figure 1.3 so because of this gravitational force in it the tray will fall down but as there is no normal force the weight will be equal to zero so that is the case so weightless at free fall so w equal to zero this is the situation i hope you have understood the topic thank you